so I know that you post a lot of green shakes. Yeah, and and, and, <laughs> and, and and also like you know like you've posted stuff of your meal preps and and stuff and. I was actually thinking, like, are you vegan, vegetarian? Mm. But then I also saw you post a thing where mm. you're like, if there's alligator on the menu, you'll eat it or something okay. like that. Uh, so, um, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, so what? what is your current sort of dieting situation? Do you stick to specific diets? Mm. And, and also, I guess... Do you have different diets for different moments in your life? And, I'm, and what I mean by that is, like, do you switch it up between, say, being in camp, uh, fight week and and say mm. your your rest of the year like do because I know you eat pretty healthy even right now without uh, a fight coming up um, correct as you said you've cut out all the sugars and stuff like but like is that uh, as I say do you, do you, for instance do you have a cheat day do you do mm. you or or normally do you have no. like a, 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 <laughs> a, 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 a do you have like a cheat month a week or whatever because yeah. sometimes with these fighters you do see they 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 have fight camp and they get mm. into such good form and then i mean it's easy as well you, well you win you you go out that night you party like a rock star right yeah you have a few beers the few beers Wanna they be go a superstar go, right? Wanna be a superstar <laughs> tell me how to be a superstar <laughs> then then the few beers lead to like a pizza at 3 a.m in the morning and that's it, all right that's right. all it would be just a pizza at 3 a.m right and uh and and you sort of go down down <laughs> down that path but no like with, with your diet do you as I say, mm. you do take it pretty serious. I, I saw that uh, a lot of time, and that's where I guess the vegetarian side came. I, I know nice. for a while there you were, was, um, yeah, you were talking all about plant based, plant based, yeah. plant based, and I was like, oh, is he going down that path? But then, as mm. I said, it kind of rocked me when when you posted. I don't know if it was alligator or if you were just talking about alligator, oh, no. but uh, it was alligator. Yeah, it yeah. was Australian crocodile. It was uh, yeah. That is that is a new that is a new one added to the diet. I've um I. I've been I've been down that path, man, where it's like you do all this amazing work for a fight camp and you're eating you're doing everything correct and then this one fight, this this one like milestone moment, and then you decide to just like go back into these old ways. And now um now looking back on it, man, it was an absolutely horrible way to like go about my life because ultimately I got in this as to be a martial artist, to 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 be mar- have martial intent with all of my movement, to have that also in my movement, but also in my diet, my lifestyle. And so looking back, that was all learning curves um, and, and, and just information for me to, 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 to feed off so that I don't go back down that track because uh, it's now a progression that I, I, I'm not taking, I'm not trying to not take days off. I don't take days off because... A cheat day means that I don't move as good the next day. Now, don't get me wrong; I would I still enjoy a good brie cheese or <laughs> a blue cheese with a cracker that doesn't have any sugar in it every every Saturday or or Sunday. But um, man, it's it's now no longer like uh, trying to live for this for this milestone to build up into. I'm I'm building on the momentum that I've already built, and I'm going to keep that going. So. Um, yeah, I was vegetarian for a long time. I think like, I think it was all of 2017. Um, yeah, until I went in, in December when I was in Europe and then I started eating ribs again, which was freaking good. And, and so how did the vegetarian side of things work out for you? Like it's great when I was doing it, man, it was great for the moment. Um, it helped it remove inflammation in the body, uh, give me lots of energy for cardio, and it was really interesting. As soon as you switch away from the idea of like, oh, I can't eat this. I'm not able to have steak anymore. Uh, and you start looking at, oh, I, what can I eat? You then, you just, there's so many options, man. Like, <laughs> fuck it. We've been on this planet for so long that we've figured out like that we can like take different plants and make all these different amazing meals with them and, and just throw a little bit of spice on them and they're actually really good. Um, so I enjoyed it, man. It opened up my like, my my plethora of diet and and uh discovered new ways to cook which is always fun and um ultimately uh it was it was a great little opportunity it helped me um calm my mind i used to be quite an intense kid as well um and definitely now, it, yep yeah. being firsthand with that one yep um don't want to do interviews right now 
um, because it's a weight cut. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, so so it, it was a great little transition for me trying to understand and get in tune with my body even more um, because as a martial artist, that's what you need to do. You need to be aware of your whole surroundings and your whole being and understand what you're doing in the space at time, um, at all times. Um, and so, yeah, at the moment what I'm doing is a, 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 an idea of a rotational diet. So every four days I'll switch up. Um, I'm sorry, four days rotation. I'll do one day of like fish, one day of lamb, one day of like pork, and one day of like, uh, uh, sorry, uh, beef. And so, but when, when you're saying like when, when you went to the, uh, was it vegetarian or vegan? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. When you went vegetarian, you Vegan's saying- Vegan's very challenging to do, by right? the way, because you have to stop driving a car. You, you can't be vegan and still drive a car. You, you have to- What, you need st- a push bike? You fucking oath. You, ca- you have to change your clothes. You have to do all of these other elements. Like you have to stop using certain soaps and stuff like that, which I don't use at the moment. Um, <laughs> but like, that's the ultimate thing. Like, like that's very challenging. And I don't believe anyone is actually doing it. And it's, it's a horrible thing to be able to do for your own health because you're actually not looking out for your own body. You're um, making yourself a lesser to save other beings, not other beings, other, other animals. And you're an animal too. So yeah, Species. that's, you're either, yeah. And so that, that, that helped me get back into it where it was like, oh, I actually care for these beings as much as I did for the plants. And a, ble- a plant is also a sentient being as well. So I am grateful that it is able to be on my plate and 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 same that I am grateful for this meat in this, uh, the same way. So but yeah, um, so my, my, my question mm, was sorry. like, if, if, when you went vegetarian, you're saying you felt the energy, it, it was cleansing, it had all the, yeah. these good things. Yeah. Why reintroduce... Yeah meats whether it be fish whether it be pork what why reintroduce like if if the vegetarian lifestyle was so mm. fulfilling in a sense um why why reintroduce like why why come back to the dark side oh naughty um because it, it ends up ha- it, <laughs> the reason why it feel okay it goes down to the point of why it feels good at start is because you've eaten one way for so long that your body is it's 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 now accustomed to this way. So as soon as you remove and eliminate, then it allows this sort of flushing effect. And um, it's, it's the same as an elimination diet. While pe- why people go into the carnivore diet and feel amazing, well, that's because you've taken other things out of your diet that no longer uh, are giving you that information uh, that that it was. And so, uh, what happens with uh, vegetarian? You, you feel great for a, for a long time or for a good amount of time. And then um, it just doesn't give you the same paying for the buck anymore. It, it, it like, it's a, there's a limit to it. And so I wasn't able to put, like my, my energy was good, but it was, it could have been better. And so by having the extra bit of protein, which actually like when you, when you're breaking muscle fibers down, you need to, get that sort of extra extra i guess uh fiber muscle what am i trying to say with the meat 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 has a more denser protein to to help repair those muscles 100 percent. because i mean when they brought out that game changes right and they were talking about like all the vegan stuff um yeah there was a guy that kind of broke it down and said yes like you can get the same amount of protein from say lentils or or whatever but Mm. he was like for you to get the same protein uh, as say one steak you would have to eat like three kilos worth of lentils so he's like then it then it becomes a point of like do you overeat or do you lose like so like nice. the debate the, yeah. the, the debate isn't whether you can get those substances from just yeah vegetarian meals but then it's like how much do you need to eat to get that same amount and mm. you know it's like pick your poison then right it, well it well it kind of is right oh, because absolutely. because you're kind of like well do i overeat which is not healthy either. Like, I mean, to, to eat three kilos worth of lentils, I, I guarantee mm. you probably make you feel slow, lethargic and all that. Or do you go, no, I'll get, I'll eat a normal serving, but then I'm not getting as much protein as I would say steak. I mean, I'm one of those people that um, I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't eat much meat, if that makes nice. sense. So like I, I, yeah, I, 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 
I don't know, like I'm not a big meat eater, but then once a month, I, I literally say once a month, I'll get a craving for it, right? And and so I always say like I, I don't specifically follow any diet. I just kind of, I guess, listen to what my body says. Oh, what good. Some, some, day, good. Some, some days it'll just be like, I feel like a steak and I will eat that damn steak, right? Like, yeah. sorry for all the vegetarians out there, right? probably better than ever because you, 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 you were in tune with your body and it gave you that signal and you listened to it. But I, I, I've been... And that's what people are missing, yeah, man. I, they miss those, like, signal occasions of, like, what does my body need at this moment? I'm, I'm, 